it's like a breath of fresh air. Someone's listening. Justice for Shannon Graves, the murder victim's family back in court today as main suspect Artura Navoa is in court again. It's been about two months since a lawyer with the Ohio Attorney General's office took over the case. And the victim's family is glad that the case is moving ahead. Here's 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti. As the father and sister of Shannon Graves sat in the courtroom, the people charged in her death stood before Judge Lou Diapolito this morning. Attorneys for accused killer Arturo Novoa say their client wants his trial to begin next month. At this point, we've discussed the matter with Mr. Novoa. He's not inclined to sign a waiver speedy trial, at least at this point in time. But both sides admit since the Ohio Attorney General sent one of its lawyers to act as a special prosecutor on the case, a slew of new information has surfaced. The defense has not been able to see. If for some reason, once we get that discovery, that's too voluminous in nature or we need more time, we can address it as we move forward. Authorities say Novoa killed Graves early last year. Both Andrew Herman and his wife, Ellie Eilenfeld, are charged with helping dismember the victim and then hiding the remains, which weren't discovered until months later. The victim's sister tells me ever since Herman and Eilenfeld were arrested, she's been hearing from a number of potential witnesses. Now that they see that there's two more people involved, they um, know them and they have a lot of information and they just they just want to help. It's the sad part about this whole thing. They'll be able to get involved. But the DePauls both tell me they're much more confident following the change in prosecutors, saying they're now able to follow the process more closely. He's very patient with me and he explains. Same thing with the detective. Um, just very patient with me and I appreciate that. For now, all three suspects remain in jail and are due back in court again later this month. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.